School life though idealized as carefree is weighed down by the burden of her full backpack. As per CBSE's back policy 2020, a child has to carry no more than 10% of their body weight. But is it so? A quick look at any school hallway will tell you the answer. No. The traditional backpack used by millions every day is not just an inconvenience, it's a piece of flawed engineering and this is where we come in. The issue lies in how a traditional backpack interacts with the human body. Your poor posture isn't just a habit, it's a physical necessity caused by poor design. More critically, the external weight creates a massive backward torque around your body's center of gravity. To contract this high torque and to prevent you from falling backward, your body imposes a constant fatiguing strain on your lower back muscles. Our solution is the leverage frame with a simple lock, a purely mechanical weight shift me- Shifting the fulcrum. This mechanism acts as a lever. The pivot point on the rigid hip belt becomes our fulcrum. When the user applies a small downward force to the front of the frame, this leverage generates a massive upward force at the back. This action forces the entire weight of the backpack to bypass the shoulders. 2. Load Distribution By transferring the load to the hip belt, we engage the larger muscles and the skeleton of the lower body. The system uses a wide padded hip belt to significantly increase the area over which the load is applied. A larger area reduces the pressure on any single point, leading to greater comfort and less fatigue. 3. Holding the load Crucially, we must hold the tension. This is achieved instantly and reliably by a simple lock. These locks operate on the principle of friction, locking the transferred weight onto the hips until the user releases the mechanism. What can we do better? With more resources, our future scope is to gather data on muscle pressures to further improve ergonomics, making the design more compact and fully integrated with the back. What can